Hello, my name is Nur Aina Azrin. My name is Nuru Suhada. In this video, we are going to talk about platyzoa, the example, structure, and also the system. Platyzoa is, is the second major group of spirilia, orga organisms such as flatworms and also the rotifers are the example of platyzoans. This group have bilateral symmetry and no circulatory and respiratory system. Planaries are bilaterally symmetrical and has great civilization. The head of a planarian is blandly arrow-shaped, with lateral extension called auricles that contains chemosensory cells and tactile cells that they use to detect potential food source and enemies. They do not have complex eyes but rather two pigmented light-sensitive eye spots on the top of the head. Flatworms are petizoan with an extremely flat body. Flatworms have a set of body bands with one single opening which is the mouth. Organisms with only one opening are said to have an incomplete digestive tract. Flatworms have no body cavity. Instead, the thick germ layer, um, mesoderm, fill the body space between the organs. Among flatworms, planarians are free living while flukes and tapeworms are parasitic. Planarians are a group of non-parasitic, free-living flatworms. Dugesia is a planarian that lives in freshwater lakes, streams, and ponds, where it feeds on small living or dead organisms. A planarian captures food by wrapping itself around the prey, entangling it in slime, and pinning it down. A muscular pharynx is extended to the mouth and a sucking motion takes pieces of the prey into the pharynx. The pharynx leads into a three-branched gastrovascular cavity in which digestion is both extracellular and intracellular. The digestive system delivers nutrients and oxygen to the cell. Planarians have a well-developed excretory system. The excretory organ functions in osmotic regulation as well as in water excretion. The organs consist of a series of interconnecting canals that run the length of the body on each side. Bub-like structures containing cilia are at the ends of the side branch of the canals. The cilia move back and forth, taking water into the canal that empty at pores. The excretory system often functions as an osmotic regulating system. The beating of the cilia remind an early investigator of the flickering of a flame. So, the excretory organs of the flatworm is called a flame cell. Planarians usually reproduce sexually. They are monoecious which means that they possess both male and female sex organs and gametes in a single individual. The worms cross-fertilize when the penis of one is inserted into the genital pore of the other. During this process, each planarian gives and receives sperm. The fertilized eggs are enclosed and hatched as tiny worms. Planarians also can reproduce asexually via regeneration. Let's take a look at this particular flatworms. It stretched itself to the breaking point. The tail portion of the planaria breaks off and each part grows into a new worm. The nervous system of planarians is collated type because the two lateral nerve cord 
implies transverse nerve look like a ladder. Pet ganglia, which is collections of nerve cells, function as a primitive brain. Larger worms will use muscle of the body wall to move about. The muscles are located in two distinct layers beneath the epidermis. The outer layer is made up of circularly arranged muscle. The inner layer consists of longitudinal muscle. In some cases, there is a third, diagonal muscle layer interposed between the circular and longitudinal layers. Contraction of this muscle helps to move the animal forward. Let's take a look at what we have learned today in this video. Petizoa is the second major group of Spirillia. Flatworms and rotifers are the example of this group. Flatworms has only one opening, which is the mouth, where a muscular pharynx extended and sucks pieces of brain. Osmotic regulation system is the function of a secretory system. It consists of bulb-like cells that contain cilia. Remember the ladder? Yes, that's a nervous system. It's called a ladder type because of the shape of two lateral nerve cords and transverse nerve that looks like a ladder. Clannarians reproduce sexually where they possess both male and female sex organs and gametes in a single individual. They also reproduce asexually via regeneration. They broke off themselves and generate a new worm. We also touched about the muscle layer, which consists of circular layer, inner longitudinal layer, and a diagonal layer. All of these muscles allow planarians to move. That's all from us. We hope that you gain something from this video. Thank you and bye! bye.